Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Medio. In the previous videos, we talked about different examples of IP version for subnetting. In this video, we will talk about the differences between network bits, subnet bits, host bits, and how can we calculate all that. So first, we will start with class A subnetting, and we will go over the network bits, subnet bits, and host bits. Let's stay tuned, jump into my computer, and let's take a look. So we already know the default range for class A. Class A, the, in the first octet, the range goes from 1 to 126. So when we see IP address, let's say 10.18.25.19, we know this is class A IP address. How do we know that? Looking at the first octet, 10, 10 falls into this range. Therefore, this is class A. And default subnet mask for class A, it was 255.0.0.0. That's a default subnet mask for class A. The 255 means on the first octet, all the 8 bits turned on, that's the network bits, and zeros means host bits. So in this example, we have 8 bits for network bits and 24 bits for host bits. So this 10 is the network information and 18.25.19 is the host information. So for this IP address, the network address would be 10.0.0.0. So this IP address belongs to this network based on this default subnet mask. And this 18.25.19, that's the host information. Okay, but this is if we are using the default subnet mask. And also we talked about this is the decimal notation, the prefix notation would be forward slash 8 or the CIDR notation, C-I-D-R, classless interdomain routing. So this is the class full, this is default subnet mask, forward slash 8, that's a default subnet mask for class A. But now let's talk about the differences between network bits, subnet bits, and host bits. So I'm going to erase all this. So class A, default subnet mask is 255. Dot zero, dot zero, dot zero. So we have forward slash 8 for the prefix. What does it mean? It means that we have 8 bits for the network bits. This is our cut line and the rest it's the host bits. All zeros. So zeros represents the host bits, ones represents the network bits. Now where is the subnet bits? So anytime when we are using the CIDR notation, anything other than 8, let's say 4 slash 12. What does it mean? We have to count left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we borrowed from the host bits. How many bits did we borrow? 4 bits. So all this default subnet mask, all the bits originally we had for the default subnet mask, these bits known as network bits, the bits that we borrowed from the host bits, or in other words, when we did subnetting, right, these are known as subnet bits, and the zeros means host bits. Now where is our new cut line? So our new cut line is here now. So I'm going to erase this one. Originally it was here based on default subnet mask, but with this side annotation forward slash 12, one example, let's say it was, they gave us the IP address with the side annotation of 12. So 12 bits for the network. Of course, the first eight bits known as the network bits, these four known as the subnet bits, all of them it's a network bits, yes. But when we want to find out how many subnets we have, we have to pay attention to the borrowed bits from the host bits. And always the subnet bits, it basically goes one bit after another, going from left to right. So previously we talked about, to find out the number of subnets, we have this formula, 2 to the power of subnet bits. So in this case, how many subnets do we have? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 to the power of 4. And it gives us how many? 2, 4, 8, 16. And the number of hosts that we can have per subnet, 2 to the power of host bits, 
minus 2. So how many host bits do we have? All the zeros, it's host bits. So let's count. 8 here, plus 8 here, that's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 2 to the power of 20, minus 2. We have to do the minus 2 because of the network address and the broadcast address. We cannot assign them to the computers, network devices, and so on. These two addresses is reserved mainly for the network address and the broadcast address. So to find out the available IP addresses, we have to do the minus 2. So what is the value? 2 to the power of 20 minus 2. That's 1,048,000. 576 minus 2 gives us 1,048,574. So that's how many available IP addresses we can have per subnet. And how many subnets we will have? 16 subnets. So this is not a default subnet mask for class A anymore with this CIDR notation. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all this. It will give us a new subnet mask. What would be? So let's convert this binary to decimal. So all the 8 bits turned on in the first octet, that's 255. So our new subnet mask would be 255. And here we have on the second octet, we have these 4 bits turned on. So we just need to add this for 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, that's 240. Dot. In this octet, we have all zero, so it's dot zero. Dot. In this octet, all zero. Dot zero. And of course, forward slash 12. Let's erase here. So this would be our new subnet mask, and we know this is not a default subnet mask. 255240. It's a side notation of 12. So having one class A IP address with a subnet mask of 255.240.0.0, it will give us 16 subnets. And inside every subnet, we can have 1,048,574 available IP addresses. And here we can see the differences between host bits, network bits, and subnet bits. Remember, what are the subnet bits? The bits that we borrowed from host bits. They are considered subnet bits. In this case, these are considered the subnet bits because we borrowed from the host bits. And how many subnet bits? Four subnet bits. One, two, three, four. And to find out the number of subnets, two to the power of subnet bits gives us number of subnets. Two to the power of four, 16. To find out number of hosts, 2 to the power of host bits, minus 2, 2 to the power of 20, minus 2. Now if we had the side notation of 15, so I'm going to raise this one, raise this one. So let's say with the side notation of 15, where will be the cut line? So we have to count 15 going from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So all this also turned on, so it's here. You see we move the cut line to the right. We will have less number of host bits now and more number of subnet bits. Therefore, it will give us less number of hosts and more number of subnets. Anytime when we move the cut line to the right, we will have less number of available IP addresses we will have more number of subnets or subnetworks. When we move the cut line to the left, we will have more available of host bits, therefore gives us more available of IP addresses and less number of subnet bits, which gives us less number of subnets. So moving the cut line to the right, that's known as subnetting, breaking a large network into the smaller subnetworks. When we move the cut line to the left, that's known as supernetting, consolidating subnets into less subnets and each subnet having more IP addresses. So what would be the new subnet mask if we have the side notation of 15 and the cut line is here? So again, we have to convert this binary to a decimal. The first octet, all 8 bits turned on, gives us 255. The second octet, all this turned on, only this one turned off. 
So in other words, we know when we have all the 8 bits turned on, that's 255, correct? In this case, we have only this one off. So 255 minus 1, that's 254. Or when we add all these numbers together, that's 254. Because again, this is the binary converting to decimal. And binary number of this gives us a decimal value of this. In previous videos, we talked about how we can convert binary to decimal. Please make sure to watch those videos. And now let's see how many subnets we will have and how many available IP addresses we will have per subnets. So how many subnet bits we have now? All this is a subnet bits, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 subnet bits. So 2 to the power of subnet bits, which is 128. We will have 128 subnets. And now let's find out how many available IP addresses we can have per subnets. We talked about number of available IP addresses or number of hosts, 2 to the power of host bits, minus 2, 1 for network address and 1 for broadcast address, right? So how many host bits do we have? All the zeros represent host bits. 8 here, plus 8, that's 16, plus 1, 17. 2 to the power of 17 minus 2, which is 131,072 minus 2 is 131,070. Available IP addresses per subnets. So originally, with the default subnet mask class A, big box with 17 million, that number we talked about previously, and now is a smaller subnet, basically 128 subnets. And each subnet we can have 131,070 available IP addresses. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you want to see more tech videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. So thanks again and have a good day.